What's up people, I'm back and uh, this is Cyberpunk, the latest uh, latest version and um, yeah, let's see if uh, anything's changed and you'll understand why I'm, uh, I'm choosing to do this uh, benchmark uh, after three weeks of mining, uh, mining with my 3090 and 2080 Ti and the reason why I'm doing this clip is because I've stopped doing it and it's not because it's not uh, profitable um, I would say that I'm actually surprised because I was a skeptic. Um, let me cut this short in matter of uh, gaining. So um, I spent around uh, 100 pounds on electricity and I managed to make around uh, 320. And this is in like three weeks, uh, three weeks time. And I'm pretty sure I was, uh, I was about to do more. But uh, I've stopped because I really, really feel it, uh, felt the need to, you know, play something and do something uh, on my computer than, uh, you know, just watch it, how, uh, how it struggles. And by the way, uh, if we touch this uh, subject, uh, I'm going to show you some images that probably will be hard to, hard to watch. Uh, keeping in, in mind how this uh, system look, looked before the transformation and the amount of uh, modifications that I had to do on the 3090 and the 2080 Ti uh, to be able to, you know, not void my warranty in the case of the Strix 3090 and, um, you know, trying to keep uh, everything cool enough without um, without losing my warranty basically because you know everyone um, is like oh 3090 is, uh, is gonna give you 120 mega hashes uh, per second but the reality is not uh, is not that um, uh, great because first of all you have to take care of the to take care of the temperatures and um, in the case of the 3090 uh, that can uh, get to 200, uh, I mean not 200, God forbid, 100 and uh, 110 and that's where the throttling began and this is what I had to do as you can see I have some, I mounted some ra radiators on the back plate of the GPU and then some small coolers to like uh, blow some cold wind in those uh, radiators who's supposed to um, take the you know the the heat from the back plate and I had an extra cooler who was like blowing uh, cold air um, in between the back plate and in the area that uh, you have the VRAMs so with these modifications alone I managed to keep the VRAM temperatures around 94 uh, degrees Celsius and that's the green zone specified by nvidia 92 94 is okay once you get to 96 98 you are in the yellowish zone and 100 100 plus temperatures for a long time for long periods of time 24 plus hours um, is to be avoided so i have some pictures alone alone to see exactly what i've done to the to the gpus and you're gonna see the pictures here but uh, these images obviously need some uh, need some explanations so I'm gonna start with the 3090 first of all as I was saying in the beginning I didn't want it to uh, void my uh, void my warranty so I've looked on the internet and everyone was like replacing the thermal pads on the back plate and um, more extreme in more extreme cases they were like mounting uh, water water cooling solutions but um, to be honest i didn't want to to get into that and i said it, it must be uh, something else so i tried with the radiators and uh, it didn't did much i lost around one degree so i was getting around 98 uh, regularly and it wasn't that great and after that I said okay well, I must find something that really really push the temperature down with a more serious amount so I found those uh, uh, those small coolers 
3060 uh, RPMs and I basically I left them loose like you can move those uh, to whatever spots you want and uh, it really does the trick and keeps you keeps your GPU uh, cold and with this setup you can get like in the light settings from mine hash uh, you get around 104 105 mega hashes uh, per second with this 3090 without modifying anything without voiding your warranty and uh, so on so I think this is the the better solution and I have to I have to speak a little bit about the misconception here because even even myself I had uh, I had this misconception that once you start uh, mining with your GPU somehow that gets uh, like imprinted in your GPU memory or somehow and if let's say if something happens to your GPU and you send it back to replace it those guys will be able to tell uh, if you mine with the GPU and they will basically refuse to replace it that's absolutely false that's absolutely false um, there is no way uh, that uh, they can establish that your GPU was used for mining except in the extreme cases where you have the backplate of uh, your GPU burned because of the extreme heating that uh, it was uh, applied for extended periods of times yes that's true the only the only thing that they can actually see is the um, if the the memories and the core clock was um, um, overclocked but that can be done not only for mining and this is why we have uh, we have those safety uh, measures uh, implemented so uh, the the hardware doesn't let you um, push it over the limit and if there's a fail in that uh, sector it's not your fault it's the manufacturer's fault and eventually the software's fault because it didn't took the the uh, right precautions to shut it down so there's no way that the manufacturer can uh, can tell that uh, your GPU was used for mining so uh, you can try without any um, you know worries in this uh, in this sector obviously there's a lottery you know silicon lottery and uh, some uh, some GPUs are better some some parts are uh, less uh, on the lesser quality side but that's uh, that's up to you and um, I wouldn't advise uh, against what I did I wouldn't advise anyone to you know to go and uh, mine with their only GPU I had the 2080 Ti on the standby as well uh, so just in case something happened with the 3090 I have at least something to you know to, to use my computer or play with um, so let's uh, let's get to the images as you can see this is the clean uh, you know the cleanest version uh, the cleanest options option that I had and I think this is much better than uh, taking off the back plate and I noticed that everyone was like replacing the thermal pads well let me and after replacing the thermal pads they had like 96 94 degrees so it was way too much hustle uh, for so little so I said okay this is this is not really worth it and to be honest I'm just like for a 2000 uh, pounds uh, GPU somehow I don't think they they just uh, put the wrong pads or um, on this one so uh, I didn't really trust that uh, that um, solution so I said okay I'm going to I'm going to do it my way and I managed to get uh, to get better times actually than uh, uh, with replacing the thermal pads um, the radiator is supposed to you know capture the the heat from the back plate and uh, help with dissipating uh, um, the heat and uh, you see the small uh, fans they do this job perfectly even they like they suck the, the hot air or they blow uh, cold air uh, either way you can turn them around uh, see what uh, what it fits uh, what it fits for you and obviously I had even a bigger fan that was uh, blowing wind um, 
<coughs> cold wind uh, inside the inside the GPU, like between the the backplate and uh, the VRAMs. That was uh, doing a great job as well. I was forced, unfortunately, to keep my uh, my entire case uh, next to the window, so it has it had like a very good airflow, and it was open most of the time. So in a way, uh, it, this is this is why it was so dusty, and it captured a lot of dust. So yeah, the 2080 Ti, it's an amazing, amazing card and um, I must say that it had the best temperatures I had to take the, uh, the small fans uh, down and kind of implement my own uh, my own cooling solution and this is why you see this uh, this 140 uh, millimeters uh, fans that were um, pinned to the to the motherboard so connected to the motherboard and from BIOS I gave them uh, the maximum uh, spin so this GPU was maxed out like in um, overclocking plus 600 plus 800 megahertz on the memories 123 percent power draw and the VRAM temperature or the T junction uh, temperature was in around 58 59 degrees compared to the 3090 uh, which had to be underclocked uh, memory wise and um, clock wise uh, that was staying in the 94s 94 95 90 in the due is true during the night time uh, it was going like um, even 92 90, 90 uh, degrees but that one when Outside we had like one degrees, uh, one degrees or two degrees in temperature. So uh, it's kind of uh, extreme for someone who has to sleep in the same, <laughs> in the same room with uh, with all these fans blowing and uh, you know all the noise. And I managed to to maintain this uh, situation for like three weeks. But I said nah, I miss I miss editing videos. I miss doing a clip, and uh, I just wanted to to see what's changing. As you can see, I done this uh, this video in Cyberpunk because many people are worried as well that uh, your performance somehow will drop after mining a while with your with your GPU. Well, as you can see here, uh, performance wise, nothing nothing's changed, and even after the patches, I can see that nothing's changed in uh, in Cyberpunk. Uh, you can uh, look. You, my my bike is doing flames uh, underwater. That's very cool. Um, yeah let's see what uh, what else can uh, can we do that it's absolutely illogical so yeah uh, in a way i'm i'm back and um i'm gonna do i'm gonna do videos again with uh, different different games and i'm trying to to get a few others and uh, we're gonna see we're gonna see each other again uh, a lot um, oh as a conclusion let's let's um let's draw a conclusion um, yeah money wise is worth it but probably I'm gonna start doing this mining seriously when I'm gonna start working again because um, I can't be in the same room uh, with a PC while I'm at home and not doing nothing and just watch my my gaming PC you know mine 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 all day so I can't do that so I'm gonna be back on mining once I'm starting work probably in uh, June or July so thank you for watching guys and um, see you soon in the next one